Hey, Matt, today I'm going to show you 10 Home Depot shopping secrets you may not know about. It's going to save you a lot of money on your tools, your supplies, and your equipment for your shop. If you like finding deals as much as I do and saving that sweet cash for later, then let me tell you about my website, 731mobarts.com. There's a tool deals page. I'm posting daily tool deals. I search the internet, find the best ones, and put them there so you don't have to. My closest Home Depot is 90 miles away. Well, give or take a few miles. It's a long drive for me to go to Home Depot. But I love going there because I love looking for deals and I've got some deal secrets for you in store and online. Let's do it. Home Depot shopping secret number one. Did you know that you could actually get 10% off of a damaged box? Check this out. I was in Home Depot a while back and found this very large DeWalt brand air compressor and the box was pretty trashed. It wasn't terrible, however, that would qualify if the manager approves for a 10% off. I didn't need the air compressor because I'm out of room and don't have room for it. But if I did, then I could have went to the manager and said, hey, this box is damaged. Is there any way I can get a discount on this product? Now, you know you're gonna catch more flies with honey. So be nice and kind. Basically ask for it because you don't know until you ask, but they will give you the discount in some cases. Again, you have to ask for it. Now the product inside the box may be dinged or scratched or something like that, and it's not gonna affect the performance of the tool, then you're really not doing anything other than you're not the first one to put a scratch on it and you're saving 10%. Also in the lumber section, there's usually a bin of coal lumber or scrap lumber that's not gonna be sold that you can get up to 50% off on. Be sure and check the lumber aisle or the lumber area for those coal lumber deals. Home Depot shopping secret number two. Did you know that there's a 30 day price protection on your purchase from Home Depot or homedepot.com? If you buy a product and within the next 30 days that product price drops, you can get the difference back. So be sure and keep an eye on those products or if you go to the store a lot, you bought that DeWalt drill package last week for $2.99, you go in this week and it's $1.99, take it to the customer service desk with your receipt and they'll give you the difference. If you bought online, you could just use their online chat and give them your order number, same thing will apply. Home Depot shopping tip number three, probably the, one of the best tips, except for maybe number nine, is the price tag will tell you the story of the product. Listen to me. You ever wondered if the product you're gonna buy is fixed to go on sale, that you don't wanna have to come back and do that price match thing, uh, or how much longer is this item gonna be in stock or in sale? All you have to do is look at the price tag. If the price ends in 0 .06, so six cents, then that product will be lowered again within the next six weeks. You can actually look, there's a date on that price tag that tells you when it was marked down. Six weeks from that day, at six cents, it's gonna be marked down again to three cents. Once it hits 0 .03, that's three weeks from the time that product's gonna be gone. It's not gonna be on the shelf. So if you see 0 .03 and you want that item, grab it then because it's, that's the lowest it's gonna be in that store. And if you have a coupon, you can actually use a coupon on top of those already discounted items. So that's a really cool thing because a lot of places don't allow you to do that. If you're in the store and you see a yellow tag, that doesn't necessarily mean that that product is on clearance while most of the time it does. Sometimes if that product doesn't have on the price tag a was price, in other words, it was $3.99 and is now $2.99, then that's just a product, it's yellow tagged, it's looking for a place in the store. They haven't found a home for it yet or haven't actually stocked it on the shelf it's supposed to go in. Moral of the story, read the price tag. It's gonna tell you the secret. And if it says 0 .06, hold off because it's gonna be discounted again. And then you can save even more money when it says 0 .03. Just don't forget. Shopping secret number four for the Home Depot is they have a price guarantee. In other words, if you find the exact same product in another store, brick and mortar store for a lower price, they will actually match that price and then give you 10% on top of that. That's a sweet deal. So if you're looking for say a DeWalt drill driver set, you find that at Lowe's for $249 and then Home Depot has it for $299. If you can prove it to them that that is on sale in that store, they'll give you that price plus 10% off. That's, that's a good deal. There are some exclusions on that. It has to be in stock at both locations. Open box items are not eligible for that. They will also match a virtual sale. In other words, you find it on Lowe's.com, Ace.com, or Menards, wherever you can find it online. They will actually match it, but they won't give you the 10% off if it's a virtual sale. 
Home Depot Shop and Singer number five is there's actually a rebate center on the Home Depot website. It's buried way at the bottom. You gotta scroll all the way to the bottom and then you have to find where it says rebate center, click that. While there's rarely ever tool rebates there, what you can find is take for instance my mini split. This one is very similar to that. There's a $300 tax credit rebate that you can get if you get that specific mini split. So it's a good deal if you're trying to heat and air your shop. Also, if you're looking for insulation, it's getting hot. It's getting summertime, you wanna insulate your garage or your shop. You can also get a 10% up to $500 discount or rebate on insulation. So if you're looking for those type things, keep that in mind to save you some extra money. Home Depot shopping secret number six is managers have a whole lot of leadway in their store and that varies store to store and manager to manager, obviously. But if a product has low stock, in other words, there's low quantity of that product, you can actually ask the associate in that department if it's a low stock item or if it's an older stock item and then ask for a lower price because it's older or because they're just low stock on that item. And a lot of times they can override the price and give you a little discount. Again, it's up to the manager. Also, if the product you want is out of stock, it never hurts to ask the manager if the next tier up in that product line is available at the price of the out of stock item since they are out of stock. And sometimes the managers can actually lower the price to meet it if it's not too much of a discount, but that can save you some money and you can get a bump up on the tier of tool you're looking at. Again, you'll catch more flies with honey, be extremely nice, be professional, and just know that they can lower the price, but they don't have to lower the price. Home Depot, shopping secret number seven. Don't forget number nine is gonna be a doozy, so stick around. Number seven is workshops. Home Depot holds workshops, some virtual, some in store, depending on your store, but they hold the workshops and at the end of the workshop, they sometimes give coupons up to 15% off. So be sure and stick around at the end of the workshop and get your 15% off coupon. And it's a great way to learn new skills and to basically build your knowledge up of the projects you're trying to make. Home Depot shopping secret number eight, coupons. Now, did you know that some Home Depots, again, up to the manager, will honor the coupons from other stores? Lowe's, Menards, Ace, lots of other brick and mortar stores where they offer coupons. Like Lowe's has a movers coupon you can get. Just search it, you'll find it. Some Home Depots will actually honor that coupon because they don't offer that. Again, this is gonna come up to the manager in your specific store, but it never hurts to ask. If you have the coupon, just present it to them and say, hey, you guys don't offer this coupon, would you mind honoring it? And see if they do it. Home Depot shopping secret number nine, they have a deal of the day. You may or may not have known about this. However, I check this every single day. Now, sometimes the deal of the day is ceiling fans, sometimes it's toilets. Sometimes it's tools, most of the time it's tools. On their website, you'll see a tab that says specials and offers. If you click that, that's gonna be the deal of the day. Now, if you really wanna drill down and find the tool deals that's going on currently, all you have to do is look in that pop-up, you'll see savings by department. If you click on tools, you'll see that there's tons of tool deals there, but you can also sort by savings by tool, savings by brand, and tons of other savings options there for you on the website. Home Depot shopping secret number 10, you may or may not know about this, but did you know that Home Depot offers a 10% military discount for active duty, for veterans, and for spouses of those? All you have to do is go to their website, search military discount, also scroll to the bottom, it's down there as well. You can sign up and register the online. I think you have to register online and not in store. Go ahead and pre-register that. You can save up to $400 a year just for being a military veteran or active duty or a spouse of those. And if you are active or a spouse of those, uh, my hat's off to you. Thank you so much for your service to our country. I don't know how us uh, Americans can thank you for everything that you've done for us. We greatly appreciate what you do every day. Here's a bonus for you. Did you know that almost every Home Depot store has a clearance section where they put all the discounted items, the closeout items, stuff that's going away. You're gonna get the best deals on some of these items. So if you go check those out, in my local store, local 90 miles away, my local store, it's in the back of the store next to the appliances, but it's just like an end cap of clearance items. Always walk by that and check it just to see if possibly there's something on there you just can't live without. I'm still kind of wishing I'd have got that DeWalt air compressor. I don't need it, but I was just 
curious if I could get the 10% off on that. The box was pretty trash. I probably should have tried. What do you think? If you like these shopping secrets, you'll love my Amazon shopping secrets. Click that box right there. Click at that box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Also, another one of my tool saving videos you can watch right there. Thank you so much for watching. I'd go watch the Amazon video if I were you though. Save a lot of money.